Is the Quran historically reliable? This episode is based on Dr. Rafat Amari's book, Quran and History. This is Daniel Amari from the Religion Research Institute. This episode is titled Haman. In this series, we examine whether the Quran is historically reliable or not. The verses concerning Haman in the Quran are significant. These verses allow us to further understand how the stories of the Quran are put together. Now we will look at the Quranic verses and the Quranic claims about Haman. We read from Surah 28, verse 38. And Pharaoh said, O chiefs, I do not know of any god for you besides myself. Therefore, therefore kindle a fire for me, O Haman, to bake brick. Then build for me a high tower, so that I ascend to the God of Moses, and most surely I think him to be one of the liars. Analysis. Quran state that in this story that it happened during Moses. So the Quran dates it about 15th century BC and places it in Egypt. The Quran makes Haman as the minister of Pharaoh. Pharaoh orders the preparation of baked bricks. Pharaoh orders the building of high tower to ascend to God to examine him. These are very significant claims. So let's, let's look at the historical analysis, whether the claims of the Quran are reliable or not. Quran contains three elements taken from three different locations in the Bible. First, the accounts of Genesis 11 about an event dated as ancient as 5500 BC. It occurred in Mesopotamia. It is the account of building high tower to reach God. High towers were not known structure in Egypt. No historical or archaeological support for high towers in Egypt. Egyptians used sun-dried bricks, not fire bricks or fire baked bricks, according to the claims of the Quran, until the Roman occupation. Few burnt bricks were found that were apparently burnt by accident, but no large quantity found that shows the in intention of large-scale buildings such as a high tower. Second, Quran took from the accounts of Exodus of the Bible about Moses and Pharaohs in Egypt. However, these accounts occurred 15th century BC. Moses in his writing never mentioned Pharaohs baking bricks or building high towers. Third, the Quran took from the account of the book of Esther about Haman. The event occurred in Persia in the 5th century BC. Haman was not a minister of Pharaoh, but minister of Xerxes, a Persian king. He did not live in Egypt, nor lived during the time of Pharaoh of Moses. Haman is a Persian name, not an Egyptian name. No record for the minister of Haman even ever found in Egyptian records. The earliest record of the name of Haman is in the book of Esther. Let's look at the sources of the Quran from where the Quran took all of these. It is apparent from the episodes of this series so far that the Quran takes multiple distinct accounts from different sources and combines them together. This results in confusion in locations and timing. In other words, the Quran places persons and events separated by thousands of years apart, and these people or these events occurred thousands of miles apart as if they were living in the same time and the same location. This is very significant because that gives us an insight how the Quran places its narrations in its book. The Quran contains that mixture of different people and different locations and different events separated by thousands of miles and thousands of years of history. This is Daniel Amari from the Religion Research Institute.